All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is the final day before Truth Quest releases. Today is the final day to go over everything we have ever theorized about Maneater and um, what has been going on with all the leaks and all of the rumors and stuff they released. This is the official trailer, by the way, that we are about to watch, that I'm about to let you guys watch. And then we're going to go over it and we are going to talk about it because I am so excited for this DLC. It looks great. I'll be here tomorrow morning. Um, I'll be up early and I'm going to be making videos on it all day. I might make three videos about it tomorrow. I might make four. I don't really know. It depends on how I'm feeling. But we're going to get really far into the DLC tomorrow. The first video might be an hour long of me playing Truth Quest. So I'm going to let you guys watch this normally. And then we're going to uh, discuss it afterwards. So here we go. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Trip Westhaven. Recently, I've been asking questions. Some would say too many questions. I followed the clues and can tell you with 100% certainty that reality, as we know it, is a hoax. All of this is the deliberate, meticulously crafted illusion of a shadowy cabal of extraterrestrial elites. Well, since my perception reboot, I've been waiting for a champion to free humanity and usher in a new state of global consciousness. I think that champion has arrived. And there we go. There were so many new stuff to talk about in this trailer. And we are going to talk about it right now. Uh, so, with the DLC that's coming out tomorrow, the number one thing I want to talk about that's been theorized about in the Maneater Discord and that that is basically confirmed in this trailer is this scene. When Trip Westhaven says he's been looking for a champion to free humanity. And the shark is the champion. The shark is going to be the vessel of destruction that's going to destroy the elite that is controlling everything in Truth Quest. Trip Westhaven and the shark are going to work together to destroy Plur uh, Port Clovis. Or not Port Clovis, um, uh, uh, Plover, Plover Island. And, um, as you can see, he said he's been watching this shark. If you look right here, he's watching the shark swim around. He knows that I think they both know hand in hand what's going on. And this is another, uh, been another one of my theories that I'll make a separate video about when maybe Truth Quest is done or we get halfway into Truth Quest. But this shark, there is something about this thing that I don't think is right. This shark, there is something off about this shark. And I think I know what it is. This shark isn't even, it might not even be a shark. What I think is, I think this shark is some sort of instrument of God that it's punishing humanity for um, poisoning the earth's water, killing and overfishing and um, all of it. It would make total sense if this shark was a vessel to destroy and rip apart as punishment to the human race. And it makes sense because Trip West David said that there's a the shark is a champion. The, he picked out the shark as a champion. And then if you look, we get some more gameplay of the atomics. Like this is the atomic evolution. It blows up. And then he shoots the helicopter. And then this. This is the first look at the Uber Apex. This has been talked about in the Man Eater Discord for a while now. The Uber Apex is going to be 
like the bigger, bigger apex in Maneater. It's, um, it is just, it is massive. Now, let's take a look at its characteristics. Now, we don't, we don't get much from this image alone. But this is its face right here. It looks to be a massive crocodilian sort of creature, like a Mosasaurus. Um, it's been theorized in the Maneater Discord that it's going to be a Mosasaurus, and I wouldn't doubt if it is. Um, and I want to go back to um, this right here where he's showing in the static stuff. Area 51, that, this, this bioelectric dome that is, sh the, the, in here when you're in the game, there was a live stream. There is something in this dome that swims around. There's a massive fin that goes around in this dome and it swims around. And it could be a baby of the Uber Apex and stuff like that. Because um, something I do want to bring up, and I'll put it over here. Um, if we look, um, I'm going to look at my files really quick for this. Um, okay. I don't think I can find it here yet. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to go to Discord and um, see what's been happening. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay. So. This image right here that I've brought on screen. This is in the original teaser trailer for Truth Quest. Look at, if you look at this, it says suspicious, mutated, obviously, subject. Subject. If we go back, this looks to hold something in. And if you remember that in Truth Quest, that the animals around you, like the great whites, the, the whales and stuff like that, they're going to be mutated too. I think this confirms my theory about the mother, the mother's husband being a test subject. Um, but yeah, as you can see in that clip, there was a UFO and then the, this is the shark swimming to Plover Island. I think it's going to show him swimming over to Plover or her, but I just wanted to make this short video to show you guys of what's going on. Tomorrow, be here and be ready for Truth Quest. I am excited. I've got all of my stuff nearly maxed out in Maneater. I've got the proteins and the fats maxed out. I just got to get the minerals maxed out. And then uh, we'll be good to go. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you here tomorrow for Truth Quest. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.